All right, Jen St. Dennis from Business of Vancouver is joining us this morning. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. A couple of things to talk about. Uh, first off, let's talk about Finning and some uh, major cuts coming to that company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Now, this is a long-time Vancouver company, Finning. Uh, they're the largest Caterpillar dealer in the world, uh, and they are cutting 1,100 jobs. Uh, 440 of those are going to be in Western Canada, and the rest will be in their South American operations. Now, Finning got its start uh, way back when selling mostly heavy equipment to the forestry sec sector, to BC's for forestry sector, but they've really changed their business over recent years, and they really concentrate now uh, in the oil sands. That's a big area of business for them, and also in mining. And and so those are two areas that have been hit really hard by falling commodity prices. And so we're seeing Finning to, uh, follow the steps of those other companies like the oil producers and the mining companies who are also looking to cut costs. And in some cases, that means cutting jobs. Mm, well, that's never good news. That's for I sure. Know. All right. And also we're talking about uh, Alibaba. To explain to people what Alibaba is. Well, Alibaba is like the Chinese Amazon. It's, a, mm. it's this huge online retailer in China. Very, very successful company. Um, and what I'm talking about actually is November 11th, which in China is, uh, is a singles day. It was this sort of pseudo holiday created in the early 1990s as this kind of anti-Valentine's Day um, and it's sort of evolved over the course of the years and it's become this day when singles are sort of supposed to splurge on themselves. Alibaba has really taken this concept and run with it and it's become this huge online shopping event and it's even eclipsed uh, both Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So this year Alibaba saw uh, 9 billion in sales. Uh, that, that compares to last year's Black Friday and Cyber Monday combined which saw only 2.9 billion dollars. So, uh, and this is, this is interesting too, because this is also is saying something about China's economy. We've been worried about China's economy as they're sort of struggling to adapt between being this manufacturing, exporting focused nation to more of a consumption driven nation. But observers are saying, you know, based on this particular uh, splurge, it shows that Chinese consumers do have a lot of money burning a hole in their pocket. Uh, apparently, yeah, very much so. Okay, thanks very much, Jen.